Hello, I'm Elliot Harper, and welcome to the Marketing Cloud Best Practice Series. In this episode, we'll learn about AmScript's Raise Error function. When building data-driven emails in Marketing Cloud, you need to consider the different permutations of the rendered email content. For example, this abandoned form email was sent before sufficient data had been collected from an online form. It's often impractical to test all the permutations of data-driven emails, but AmScript includes a raise error function that enables you to code for resilience. Perhaps some required data is not available at send time, or a conditional evaluation does not return a value. Then the function can be used to stop an email from being sent. Several parameters are available in this function, which you can review on the Salesforce Developer Documentation website. For now, let's take a look at a couple of common scenarios. An order confirmation email is sent to customers who have made an online purchase. The email uses a lookup rows AmScript function to retrieve a row set of the order items and display them in the email. We want to accommodate exception handling in the event that no items are returned by the function. The following AmScript code will return an error message and cancel the sending of the email job. Alternatively, if the email is being sent to multiple subscribers, we can include a Boolean parameter to only skip sending the email to subscribers that have no line items. Just be aware that the AmScript code is interpreted from the top down, so any other functions before the raise error function will still be executed. For example, if you are using an HTTP POST AmScript function to interact with a third-party API, and the function appears before the raise error function, then the API request will still be made. Also, you need to be aware that if you use the raise error function to cancel an email job, then any AmScript functions used to update, insert, or delete data will not be executed. That's because these are made in a single call after all the emails have been sent. Refer to the Salesforce developer documentation for more information. You should only use the raise error function for exception handling, not for segmenting or excluding a large number of subscribers. Please subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on best practices for Salesforce Marketing Cloud. And if you would like to discuss how your organization can use Marketing Cloud to its full potential, visit elliot.com.au to schedule a call.